When your body fights off a virus, it makes antibodies that act like soldiers. They learn what the enemy looks like so they can fight it again successfully in the future. Vaccines help us do that, training our immune soldiers to be ready in the war against COVID. The goal of the vaccine is to induce the immune response that's a consequence of natural infection without making people pay the price of natural infection. The vaccine does the work. This week, the first evidence, the one from Pfizer and its partner BioNTech, is working. It's one of three different approaches scientists are taking in the U.S. Dr. Paul Offit says they all have the same goal, show the immune system part of the coronavirus so before you get sick, your body can make the protective antibodies. We know the protein of the virus that we're interested in. It's that spike protein, the protein that sits on the surface of the virus that allows the virus to attach to cells. If you can prevent the virus from attaching to cells, then you can prevent the virus from infecting cells from infecting you. Vaccines from Moderna, Pfizer, and others do this by delivering a piece of genetic material called messenger RNA. It tells our cells to make that spike protein, to which we then develop antibodies. Other vaccines from AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson also employ a new approach, using a different, harmless virus to deliver the gene telling our cells to make that protein. Again, you make the coronavirus spike protein, then you make antibodies to the coronavirus spike protein. That's the way those systems work. The third is a familiar technology being used by Sanofi, GlaxoSmithKline, and Novavax. In this approach, the spike protein itself is delivered, skipping the step requiring our cells to make it. It's the way that we make the human papillomavirus vaccine. It's the way we make the hepatitis B vaccine. It's the way we make one of the flu vaccines. Offit says each approach may have benefits and drawbacks. For instance, one might work better for older or high-risk people, but we don't know yet, and we won't know until the third phase of trials is complete for all of them. The proof is in the pudding. The pudding is these phase three trials. Which among these vaccines will be the best, last vaccine? We'll find out. And Shep, we heard from experts this week like Dr. Fauci that the fact that the Pfizer and BioNTech vaccine worked so well is actually good news for all of the vaccines behind it in the U.S. because they all target that spike protein. So it suggests this is the right approach. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.